Yo, what's good guys? Peter here. We are back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Guys, today we have a huge video. This is going to be how to get every single badge in NBA 2K19. You know, how to unlock all of your badges. I know a lot of you guys are probably trying to get badges right now since the game just came out. And, you know, it makes sense. You know, they're really important. But a lot of you guys are probably wasting time because you're not doing it the right way. Or you're not really doing it as fast as you can. Or not doing the right methods. So I wanted to make this video basically showing you guys how to get every single badge in NBA 2K19. After watching this video, you're not going to have to watch any badge tutorials in 2K19. You know people are uploading like how to get like this individual badge like we're going to cover every single badge in this video so i really hope this helps you guys make sure i drop a like down below if you haven't already as always we're trying to hit 500 likes it would really be appreciated because this took a really long time to make man like there's a lot of badges in 2k19 also if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe turn on notice all that good stuff anyway let's get right into the video all right how to get every single badge in nba 2k19 now, first, we have to establish how important badges really are and what they really do to your player. Because I know a lot of people might not really know how important they are. A lot of you guys maybe are just starting out in 2K. So, badges basically enhance your player. You know, they're very important. I think they're very important uh, for the sole purpose that you can be a very good player, undefeated, have no badges. And a decent player, you know, maybe a little bit worse than you. Uh, pulls up with all of their badges maxed most of the time that decent player that's a little bit worse than you as long as you have their badges maxed they're gonna outplay you just because it makes a huge difference anybody can buy vc and get to 85 overall you know what i mean but past that you can't buy anything for your player everything is grinding and everything is badges you know what i mean so that's the difference between grinding and not because you, you have to grind for your badges you can't buy them so just, you gotta figure out how important they are to you. Cause I, I mean, I just told you guys how important they are to me, but maybe you're not as, I guess, a competitive of a player as me. The reason why you wanna ask yourself that is because you're gonna have to ask, how long am I gonna do these methods for? You know, how am I gonna do this until every single one of my badges is maxed? Am I gonna do this until I have my primary badges maxed? Or am I gonna do this until I get my primary badges? Maybe just gold. You have to ask yourself and you wanna come up with a plan because if you just go out there and just like, oh, well, I'm gonna try my career. Oh, I don't like my career. It's too boring. Oh, I'm gonna try park. Oh, yeah, I'm losing too much in the park. I'm gonna try prom. Oh, I don't have a prom. You know what I mean? You have to really stick to something because if you don't, you're gonna spend more time just figuring out what you're trying to do before you actually do it. So the next thing you wanna figure out is what mode are you going to grind these badges in? I love this feature. 2K19 has this feature, so basically you can grind your badges in pretty much any mode, you know, park, pro -am, rec, my career, it doesn't matter. You can get your badges in any of these modes. And you wanna ask yourself which one you like better because I'm gonna tell you right now, my career is going to be the fastest, but you're gonna have to play a lot of it. And at least in my opinion, it's boring. Like I can't even play my career to grind badges anymore just because I've done it so much in previous 2Ks. It's just so repetitive, so boring. I can't do that anymore. I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you're different, but I'm just gonna let you guys know because I know a lot of people are gonna tell you to grind them in my career and you're just gonna be like, yo, I'm so bored, I don't wanna do this. Just, just I'm just warning you guys. You also have an option, Pro-Am. I honestly wouldn't recommend it because you have to find four other people and a lot of people are just gonna try hard there. Uh, Rec is probably a better option if you wanna play 5v5. Um, same kind of thing, you can kind of play with randoms. The games are a lot longer, so it's gonna help you get your badges park a lot different you know if you have a couple friends to play with or maybe just one other friend uh you can play park uh the thing with anything other than my career is that if you're watching this video in the beginning of the year it's probably the best option if you're not going to grind your badges in my career to grind your badges right now because think everybody in the park that's grinding their badges is doing the same thing as you they don't have their badges they're still grinding them so you're not really at a disadvantage but if you're going to do this later while everybody already has their badge and they're just playing park because they want to play park then it's going to be a lot different Okay, now that you've decided where you're going to grind your badges, it's time to start grinding them, you know what I mean? You have to take a look at them first. I guarantee you don't have all of them memorized already, so just take a look at your badges and see what you have to get, you know what I mean? You want to first point out the badges that you just don't have to grind for. So there's a lot of these badges in the game. They just You just will get them automatically grinding for other badges. Let me give you guys an example. Catch and shoot. People will even post badge tutorials on catch and shoot. And it's just so easy to get. And the reason why it's so easy to get and that way you should never even try to grind for it is because anything you do to grind for any other shooting badge is also going to go towards catch and shoot. So like you grind for corner specialist, any outside shot, any three point shot, uh, you're shooting your corner shots, it's also gonna go towards catch and shoot. So just don't grind for that. There's a couple more of those in the game. I just wanna point them out right now. So catch and shoot, like I said, is one of them. 
Uh, also, I mean, tireless score, you're kind of going to get it. I mean, it depends if you're blinking red a lot. If you lose a lot of energy, you're probably just going to end up getting tireless score. Uh, another badge, brick wall. I mean, you're probably going to get that just going for like, I guess, pick and roll or pick and popper. Uh, also, pick and roll maestro, you're probably going to get that anyway if you're a guard because all you have to do is call for screens. Bruiser, you're just probably going to end up getting going for brick wall. You'll probably get it a little bit later. Uh, pickpocket, one man fast break, you're probably gonna get both of those just ripping the ball up and scoring on the fast break. Uh, I've never really ended up grinding for those. And then finally, defensive stopper. If you're actually playing defense some of the time and not just cherry picking the whole time, like you're probably gonna end up getting it just from getting like good shot defense or good transition defense or stuff like that. Now that we've established the badges that uh, you don't actually have to grind for, now it's time to start using some methods. Now, First, let me tell you guys, uh, if you go to the practice facility, if you're playing micro, you go to the practice facility, you're going to get drills that will directly give you badge progress towards whatever badge you want. Like, it's not like last year where it's just going to give you a drill and like it may give you something towards this or that. It actually has drills that are specific to certain badges that will actually grind you that badge. And that's very important. So if you're playing my career, make sure you're going to the practice facility uh, and getting those badges. Obviously, I don't have to tell you guys the methods to get those. All you have to do is just do the drill. Doing the practice drills are probably going to be the easiest and most direct ways to get the badge, especially for a lot of the ones that require you to make like, say, contested shots or deep shots, stuff like that. Uh, the practice facility is going to be really easy for that. But now it's time to show you guys every single method to getting every single badge in NBA 2K19. Keep in mind, this applies to every single mode. So it's not going to be like, oh, uh, so if, if you get mid-range Deadeye, in my career, you're going to want to do this. And in Prime, you're going to want to do this. Like, no, this is going to apply for every single mode just so it's easier for everybody and so this doesn't take too long. <laughs> Starting with mid-range and deep-range Deadeye, you have to make contested shots, you know what I mean? So the practice facility, I would highly recommend for especially these two. But if not, you're going to have to make contested shots, you know what I mean? Like, your teammates are going to get mad if you take contested shots in park or prime or whatever. So if not that, I guess my career, you're going to still have to make contested shots uh, from the three-point line, obviously, for deep range and the mid-range for uh, mid-range Deadeye. Next, we have catch and shoot. Don't even grind for it, like I said. Limitless range. Um... I would also, I mean, you can do this in the practice facility as well, but you just have to make deep shots. You want to get open. So some good ways to get open is spotting up at the hash. Uh, AIs and also some actual players won't guard you all the way, like all the way out there. And also if you set a pick, you know, pop out to that area, that's also going to help. But just keep in mind, you don't have to be like at half court, like if you're playing threes, you don't have to be that deep. You just have to be a couple steps from the three point line. Corner specialist, if you're playing my career, just cherry pick, honestly, it's the easiest thing to do. Uh, if you're playing, I guess, anything else, just try to get open to the corner. You can set a pick and go there. Uh, you try to cross somebody and go there. Uh, just spot up, pretty easy. Difficult shots. Now, this one, I would also recommend to go to the practice facility because you have to take moving shots. And uh, I'm not sure if they have to be contested. I don't think so, but basically, just take moving shots. A lot of people aren't going to make moving shots and like, game modes where you're playing against other people so going to the practice facility would be good if not you can i guess go to my career and do a pick and roll just have somebody set a screen for you and just shoot a fading shot off the screen uh, but you're gonna have to do that a lot i think that's actually a good badge to not grind and say park pick and popper really it's self-explanatory just set a pick and pop and shoot the ball and make it Tyler score, like I said, you just have to shoot and make shots while you're blinking red in energy. I pretty much just naturally got that just because I'm always out of energy because the energy is just so low in this game. Now we're on to the playmaking badges. Ankle breaker. No, you don't get this badge from breaking people's ankles. Uh, honestly, the best method to get this is just do screen and rolls. So, like just pick and roll with people. Uh, obviously, this is going to help you get pick and roll maestro as well. But, you know, dump it off to people, shoot off of it, just scoring off of pick and rolls are going to help you get ankle breaker flashy passer super easy just throw flashy passes press circle twice or b twice depending on what console you're on if you just complete the pass and the count towards it very easy to get break starter uh this one's actually a little bit harder you're gonna have to basically just sit in the paint like don't get defensive three seconds if you're playing a game where that exists uh but just sit in the paint get a defensive board you're gonna have to wait if you're playing like an ai because it takes forever like they they run down the shot clock that's why i think this is actually a better badge to grind in like park or pro-am uh you just get a defensive board and have your teammates run down the court and just pass it uh it's not going to be a turnover as much as you might think i don't think uh, there's as many break starter turnovers or 
outlet pass turnovers uh, as previous 2Ks, but like I said, just hit the defensive board and just chuck it down the court to one of your teammates. Lob City Passer, obviously you just have to complete alley-oops. The easiest way to do this is either on fast breaks or on pick and rolls, but just make sure you guys are like coming from opposite sides of the court. If you're coming from the same side, you're not gonna get a good animation, and most of the time it's gonna be a turnover. And then Dimer, obviously, just get assists. Best way to do that, again, pick and rolls or just have your teammates cut, stuff like that. Now onto the athleticism badges, Lob City finisher, just the opposite of Lob City passer, just set a pick for somebody, go to the basket and make sure they throw your lob, catch it um, and dunk it. You know, you press square or X to catch it. Uh, also works on fast breaks pretty well. Posterizer, you're gonna have to get some contact dunks. So this one's actually pretty hard. You're gonna wanna get open. Like pretty much the easiest way to get open on anything is just to pick and roll. So just have somebody set a screen for you, go all the way to the paint, and hopefully there's a defender right there ready to get in a contact dunk animation, but you're just gonna try to get in contact dunks. Obviously you have to have them equipped uh, to get posterizer. Uh, sometimes you get contact dunks without, but like, that's obviously the easiest way to do it um, like i said bruiser and brick ball just you're, you're gonna get it anyway just set screens and one man fast break same kind of thing <laughs> dude just just run down the like you can cherry pick and get it honestly uh but you're gonna score on the fast break a lot anyway especially if you play fast <laughs> the only rebounding badge in the game is hustle rebounder and this one takes a long time uh so i mean i don't know if you're good at rebounding i think you can just grind this and park because keep in mind like i said a lot of people that are playing park right now since the game just came out they don't have their badges either so it's not like you're at a huge disadvantage if you just play a lot of park or prime or whatever and you're just crashing the boards and just get a lot of boards uh you're gonna eventually get it but i mean yeah that's how you're gonna get it <laughs> like it's just repetition it's not anything skillful it's just getting boards in my career you can't really make your teammates shoot it's not like orange juice or whatever it was in previous two k's where you could like control the other player uh so i mean there's really no need for that if you really want to you can just crash the boards but if you're playing uh to get hustle rebounder on my career make sure you put the difficulty to hall of fame also the practice drill is going to really help towards that <laughs> Now on to the inside scoring badges. There are actually a lot of these, quite a bit, um, but they're pretty easy. Acrobat, you're just gonna try to take reverse or chain shot layups. Again, easiest way to get open in the paint is a pick and roll or pick and pop or on the fast break. Teardropper, you just have to take floaters. Uh, they're easy if you make, I guess, open floaters, but you can actually kind of get away with taking a little bit contested ones. Uh, again, pick and rolls, fast breaks. Putback King, similar to Hustle Rebounder, like you can't make your teammates shoot. So I think this is also a good badge to grind. When you have teammates, you can just tell the shoot uh, that you have box out or just from repetition. Uh, when you get the board, just put it back up. Obviously, this only applies to offensive rebounds, so just crash on the offensive glass. Pick and roller, set screens, roll the basket, make sure your guard hits you or make sure the AI hits you. I don't know, really easy. Relentless finisher, uh, you have to take contact layups. Uh, you actually get this for taking contact dunks as well, but I think layups are a lot easier. I mean, you're probably gonna get whatever 2K gives you anyway, but just try to get open enough to where you're getting to the paint and then you're just gonna have to hope that one of them helps or double teams you or whatever so you get in a contested layup animation and you eventually make it. Post spin technician, uh, Post spins are easy, you just have to successfully do them. This is a very easy badge to grind in my career. Uh, just do post spins, just if you don't know how to do them, move your right stick, like spin it in the direction of your outside shoulder. Drop stepper, same thing, just do drop steps, easy my career badge. Uh, I mean, if you don't know how to do this, just look them up. I mean, I assume you guys already know how to do like drop steps or post spins by now. Dream like up and under, same kind of thing. Easy my career badge, just do up and unders. <laughs> Like I said, defensive stopper, you don't really have to grind for it. Charge card. Uh, this one's, I guess, I don't know, this one's a really hard badge to get. You have to take, like, a lot of charges, and you can't just get the AI to run into you, and you there's no charges in park. I guess you can get it in, like, Pro-Am or Rec, but, like, I don't know. This is a hard badge, like, it's a hard badge to get, and if it's hard to draw charges anyway, I don't think it's going to be that useful anyway. So just, I guess, when they're bringing up the ball, just hold your nuts i don't know like it, it's not that useful of a badge you're eventually gonna get it if you just play enough my career but don't just try to you're gonna get frustrated going for it it's not a badge that you can just specifically go for 
I guess when you're grinding other badges, you can just try to take charges on defense. Pick Dodger, you have to go through screens, and you already know people just love setting screens in park this year, so you're gonna get that one pretty quickly. Pickpocket, uh, uh, don't spam square on people in park. You're just gonna be a jerk. Just don't do that. You're not gonna get the ball most of the time. You're just gonna get a reach and foul. So that's a good badge for my career. Finally, Rim Protector. Oh, it was Rim Protector and Chase Down Artists. Basically the same thing. Chase Down Artists, you just have to run. Uh, on fast breaks behind people and try to get blocks don't that don't go for that like don't throw a turnover and just i mean i guess you could but that's a my career kind of thing and then finally rim protector uh you just have to get blocks and stuff and have good defense when people are going to the paint best way for that is just uh while people are going to the paint i guess the help and hopefully they're stupid enough to not pass out and they just take a test to lay up on you and you either get a block or i guess good shot defense i think blocks are going to help more for that but those are all the badges you know i don't want to spend too much time on each badge because honestly the methods are really simple and then also so it's just like people are making like videos on just individual badges like it, it couldn't be any more obvious for a lot of them so just thought it'd be better to make a badge tutorial i guess the ultimate badge tutorial on how to get every single badge in the game hey thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this helped you guys like i said it took a really long time so don't forget to drop a like down below also if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe turn on notice join the family man we're getting really close to 80k also you guys aren't gonna want to miss any more 2k19 content man we're dropping it daily and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.